Hey guys, this is Taylor from the Salvador Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at the BK545HYD-TK. This is our 10 inch hydraulic brake kit for a 3500 pound axle with Timken bearings. Right here you'll see this box. This is what you get in the mail. You can see it's got our logo on it. And you'll have two smaller boxes with the brakes and the hover drums and everything you need. We do that to make sure it doesn't shift around during shipping. We have your two smaller boxes. See. Down in here you're going to have your True Ride hub and drum with your half inch zinc coated studs. This is the 5 and 4 and a half. These from here to here will be 2 and 5 eighth measurement. The races are already pressed in as you can see here. There's your outer, there's your inner. And we have your brake back right here. Your hydraulic cylinder is already in there. Everything's ready to go on here. Uh, the studs are not in here. The studs will come separate in our smaller parts. Um, right here you can see this pin. To know left hand, right hand, this pin has to be facing the tow vehicle. So this will be a left hand, just like that. It's got our True Ride sticker on the back. That will also show left hand, right hand, and our hydraulic connections right here. And we can see we have our small parts here. Let's take all these out. We have our other hub and drum and our other brake back. So in this kit you'll get your two hub and drums and your left hand and your right hand brake back. Then you'll get your smaller parts and these are going to be the studs for the backing plate. We'll just stick them right here, right here. You'll get eight of those. Then we will get our mounting hardware. Get eight nuts and eight washers. So once you stick this through, you'll stick it through that plate on the axle, and then you'll just stick your washer and your nut on. You're good to go. And we have our castle nuts and our cotter pins. Most guys won't send you the cotter pins. We like to make sure that you have everything you need. So you'll just stick this castle nut on the spindle, and you'll just stick your cotter pin through, hold it on nice and tight. And you're going to get two seals with this, as you can see. And then once you stick your inner bearings in, you'll just stick the seal on right there. And, two of those. and then you'll get uh, four grease caps, as we can see here. Now the reason we do this, and you'll see that this has a hole in it and this one doesn't. These are for the easy loop spindles and these are for your regular spindles. These will come with the rubber cap and your tang washers. And these will just come with the regular washers for your spindle. And then you're going to get your Temkin bearings. These are going to be your inners. And this is the 68149. These do have Temkin printed on them. These are made in the US. You can see that these will just pop in right there. Then you'll put your seal on, you're good to go. Then you're going to have your outers, which are the 44649. Of course, with the Timken printed on it and the part number printed on it. And these just pop in right here. And you pop your grease cap on and you're good to go. That's our hydraulic kit, guys. It's really easy. Just bolt it on, hook your lines up. Uh, Put your spindle nuts on and you're good to go. You do also get 10 lug nuts with this for the hub and drums. And pretty easy kit, guys. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook. That was our BK545HYD-TK.